Sporting superstar Sonny Bill Williams is the front man for a new mosque. The only issue, local residents don't want it. And an almighty feud has broken out. See, it's nothing against being a mosque. It could be a Buddhist church, it could be a church, it could be anything. It shouldn't be in a residential area. We've stuck to all the rules and regulations and I just think it's a bit unfair, to be honest. And they were singing at Allah and all these sort of things. At that stage, that's when my daughter went and put cameras in at the front for my safety. We've had to put cameras and it's not just us, it's the whole street. I don't think anyone understands the impact that this is having on all the residents. We see this battle time and time again. Only this time, it's a sporting superstar who's been accused of using his celebrity status to get this controversial building across the line. The painting is this, the big bad wolf. Big bad wolf. <laughs> Sonny Bill Williams is used to big hits on the footy field and in the ring. But now he's copping an almighty spray for plugging a new mosque. Beautiful brothers and sisters, we are here. I'm joined by Sheikh Kamal, alhamdulillah, and we are here in front of the new Hurstful Masjid. Sheikh, you want to give us an update? Oh, please don't get me on Sonny Bill Williams. No, he, he's got to, he, he needs to be educated on all of this, that man. Mosque neighbours are smashing the former football player for supposedly spreading fake news. To begin with, played in lies. Now, Sonny Bill Williams is hitting back. I've been hit up so many times to do an interview about this, and all I want is just some fair reporting. Right then, let's kick things off with a disclaimer. Williams is contracted to Nine Entertainment, the owner of Channel Nine and this program. Williams is also a devout Muslim and is promoting a controversial new mosque being built in Carlton near Hurstville in Sydney South. So, Sheikh, we're on the second floor, and this is where the woman's musala will be? Neighbours have been fighting this development for years. Not in our street! Not in our street! After a lengthy battle in the New South Wales Land and Environment Court, the mosque was given the go-ahead to be built on the site of an old retirement home. What's the difference to having a mosque here than a retirement village? The retirement village didn't get many people going in constantly. They have currently 20 people going in five times a day for the public place of worship. Stella lives opposite the new mosque site. She accuses Sonny Bill Williams of promoting future events there on social media that will see more people attend than what's allowed. Wedding services, there'd be funeral services, like, you know, a hub. I would never have thought that Sonny Bill Williams would be doing that either. False advertisement in a residential area. Williams makes no apology. Uh, me, I guess, being, um, I guess, loud on social media, for example, about the places, because yeah. I'm proud. I'm proud, brother, that's it. Um, there's masjids all around Sydney. So me saying that this place is open for worship, inshallah soon, you know, not all the Muslims in Sydney are going to come here. Stella's mum, Roslyn, is dreading the potential increase in traffic. Yeah, I might be working afternoon shift or night shift or morning shift. You know, I've got to block all this out now. How am I going to block the noise out? How am I going to get my sleep? Where's, what about us? Where the rate pays? I understand their concerns, but we've, we've done our utmost. We've done our due diligence. We've knocked, out, knocked down pretty much half the potential mustard um, to facilitate or to cater for more car parks, spaces. I don't know about what more we can do, man. This fight's also been dogged by allegations of intimidation, which Rosalind claims has left her scared to sit on her front porch. Well, I've got to hide in my backyard all the time, hide in my house. Why should I have to do that? I don't think it's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, know. I can't control everything. Williams might not be able to control everything, but he is calling for common sense from anyone going rogue. Sabah, patience. Come on, boys. Come on, you know. Um, people of this community, you know, if we want to, for us as Muslims, we want to um, have this place as a bit of a hub for our kids, our kids' kids, to learn about our beautiful religion, 
in, 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 in making it possible we have to form relationships with those around us. I can't blame Sonny Bill Williams for people abusing my mother. If he can stop the harassment, we might not get somewhere, but we will still see how it goes. So whose fault is this? Councils. I mean, it's councils all the way. Front of mind for Williams right now is getting the mosque built. The Roosters jersey that I played in in 2013 when we won the competition. He and close mate Anthony Mundine have donated money and auction items towards the project. It's Australia. Alhamdulillah, thank God. It's a, you know, everyone's, everyone is free to worship what they want to worship and, and practice that worship. So that's yeah, all we're doing. With time, the neighbours will see we're good people, you know. So, and, and, and with time we can hopefully, you know, form a bit of a relationship. Let's hope so.